Sunnis and Iraqi Shiites want their country back. They want their country back and they are the only people who can rebuild Iraq. They are the only people who can fight against Al-Qaeda. They are the only people who can protect Iraq from Iraq's neighbor. They don't need anyone to stay there and that's why they want a complete withdrawal that keeps no permanent bases in Iraq. Let all of your Iraqi brothers and sisters who are wondering where are the good Americans? Where are the good Americans while millions of Iraqis are being killed and tortured and kicked out of their homes? Let them hear your voice demanding to end this illegal war and occupation. Let them hear your voice saying, troops home now! Bring all the troops home now! 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 I call MC Michael McPherson, National Director of Vets for Peace. Power to the people! to feel your power because that's the way we're going to change what's happening in our country is through you. My name is Michael McPherson. I'm the executive director of Veterans for Peace. I'm a veteran of the first Gulf War. I'm also a military family speak out because I have a son who served a uh, tour in Iraq. He served 12 months but thank God he's out of the military now. Yes. I'd like to thank all of you for coming out today. This is a beautiful crowd. And you gotta go out after you leave here and we do our march, you gotta go out and talk to more and more people so more and more people can show up. I also would like to thank all the veterans that came before me and I especially like to, to thank the yes. Vietnam veterans. Yes. And especially Vietnam veterans against the war. Yes. Because if it wasn't, yes. if it wasn't for that group of people, a foundation would not have been laid for a veteran like me to be able to come out of the military and find a home that I could be with to resist the war in Iraq. And more importantly, the foundation would not have been laid for Iraq veterans against the war, which I also want to thank them for the, what they are doing today to stand up against this war. And people like David Klein and Bill Davis are extremely important figures in the veterans movement and we've lost those two great men and then, and I'm just gonna give like five seconds of silence in their memory. Later on, I'm gonna come back and talk to you about some things that UFPJ believes are important in terms of how to resist the war. But I believe there's one thing in particular, especially as we move closer to the 2008 election, that has nothing to do with Republicans or Democrats. It has nothing to do with anybody but us. I believe it is most important that, as, that we do not turn on each other. Right. We will always have very differences, and that's okay because we are diverse. It is one of our strengths. Sorry. No one way is the way. It will take our collective ideas and energy. We must struggle with each other to develop a common vision encompassing all of our struggles. We must trust each other and allow each other to each other's space to walk our paths to that vision. We do not always have to work together, but we must never, we must never work against each other. And we must have humility and forgiveness in our hearts when we piss each other off and hurt each other. I spoke at the uh, answer rally on September 15th, and I said this same thing at that rally. Now this is not necessarily a call for unity, but it is definitely a call for non-disunity. We don't always, as I said before, we don't always have to walk the same path, but we cannot cut each other off. That's right. This is crucial to the success of our cause.
Because soon, if not already, they, those who think they can profit from the war, will come after us. They will use our disunity and any egotism to stop us. So we must be careful not to do that. So I say before I depart, I say to the U.S. government, we the people will not go away. We will have not changed our minds and we will not be fooled by double speaking lies. To all those in the government, hear our demands. In the occupation, bring our, bring our troops home now. Like 